about and why are they unreal. For that, we need to look back at what was done in the NDA government compared it to what was done in UPA 1 and UPA 2. Here's a recap of the expectations. He has played the development card, pushing for hardcore reforms if the NDA comes to power. And as the exit polls pave the way for a possible Modi government, the markets have been on an upswing. But after a decade of high inflation and low growth, reviving the economy will be the real challenge for the government in the wings. The trust deficit which has crept into the system, that needs to be bridged. And naturally that will happen if there are some interesting measures, uh, economic reforms which are announced with a short to medium term orientation. A quick check on the report card of the Indian economy under the UPA and the NDA's tenures show how the policy paralysis and various scams in the past five years have resulted in a massive slowdown. And then over a period of time, market developed its comfort based on exit polls, based on opinion polls, based on their own research, that the number of seats which BJP will get will keep on improving. And along with that, Finsex has improved. And the next government will be under pressure to perform fast. Even the rating agencies have pegged their growth estimates based on the reforms rush that is expected to kickstart the sagging economy. I hope we are able to start going on the positive direction. The trend has been very, very negative for the past 18 months to 24 months. The next government has its task cut out with the priority on reviving the investor sentiment and controlling price rise for the common man. Will it deliver? Bureau Report, Times Now.